So I'm sure, I know I heard some of the things that you were talking about that were some really good ideas. Does anybody have something that you would share with us as a group? Yes. I thought this was a really good idea that um, papers should come in at a time that's convenient to you. We have that option when they're due. So if you know you're going to be out of town, but have them due at a time you're not, you know, you're going to be ready to grade them. And another thing along that same line was that try to have your papers due at a time when the students can still have access to TCS so they can get help if they need it. If you have them due like on Sunday night or Monday morning, then TCS may not give them the help on Saturday or Sunday. So if you have them due on Friday, then they can still get help from TCS all the time so you will not getting all those questions. My computer won't work or whatever. Yeah, that does save you time to answer those questions. What else? Well, actually, this was Harvey's idea, but I thought it was a really good one. He tells students that if they have a question or a problem with the class, <coughs> send them an email, put the course number, and in all caps, HELP. So that when he looks at his email, he sees that HELP, and he knows he should answer that one right away. <laughs> and so that's one way of, you know, not having a student get lost in the shuffle because you've got so many emails. We had a couple of email things as well. Um, and somebody mentioned that if you send email through the Blackboard site, it, it automatically puts the course name and number in the subject line. So that's really helpful. Um, that's true. Also, as long as we have GroupWise on campus anyway, when you're in GroupWise, you can create the folders for each class and then put all of your student email into your folders for each class. And go through your send mail regularly and put your own send mail into the folder as well. And then use that GroupWise function to sort in ways that make sense to you. Like I recently just discovered that it was really helpful to sort by the students' names. And then at the end of the semester, I could see what emails I had from each student. Um, that was really helpful. But other times, I want to be able to sort by dates because then I can see who turned things in at a certain time and a certain date. So GroupWise is really helpful in that sense, especially because you can just sort within that folder. Um, a couple of us, and I know several of us have ideas about how to see, as far as addressing student independence, we create a student lounge or a student cafe in the discussion board area where they can just go in, ask each other for help, or just post questions, or almost anything. It's just sort of a free-for-all. And students answer each other's questions. A lot, of, a lot of them know the answer already, and they help each other. So um, yeah. So you just create a forum? Just a forum, and you call it oh, student lounge, lounge, or whatever you want to call it, you get creative. One of the things that we talked about is getting that a lot of online work is essay and uh, we talked here already about how we want to be as efficient maximum output for minimum effort. You know, a lot of students are that way too, maximum grade for minimum effort. You know, I don't want to be uh, facetious with that. We get a lot of questions about, okay, how long do you want this to be? How much depth on these essay questions? And so you can, you can spend a lot of time answering individual questions. One thing that that, that has worked is is to take maybe a couple of classes, take uh, an essay assignment from another class, post it, and post a really good example of a completed assignment. And then you can refer students to that. Now you're not giving them the answers to the questions that they're working on, but you can say for this type of a question, uh, look at the example provided here. Uh, here were the questions that were asked for a different class. Here were the answers for a really good assignment. Does your assignment look something like this? And uh, that, can, that can save some time. Thank you. That's, that's good. The discussion board is probably, I think about our group, it's probably the most important link to making it as much of a regular class as we would have it. Yet it's the most demanding in terms of if, you, if you're really using it that way. So we were talking about different ways of um, responding to students, staying in touch with them, interacting. But it's probably the most challenging because that's, I think, where we, 
We get paper assignments, we get that in regular classes anyway. But the discussion board is the way you make it a live, interactive class. And that's where we started to discuss that the expectation that 50 students in a class is okay is not reality because of the amount of time that it takes to work with these stu with students. If you want it to be a meaningful class, if you're just doing assignments and you you can have them mailed into you and you're grading them and send them back, but if you're really using the discussion boards the way they should be used, it's going to take quite a bit of time. And I guess I'd like to hear more from others as to how they're efficiently using it. And by the way, you said something about printing off assignments and reading them. And yesterday we heard that's probably not a bad idea because it takes 20% longer to read mm -hmm. on the screen than it does to read off a piece of paper. So, there you go. I mean, that, that, that's what they told us yesterday. So, and now, you know, it's <laughs> we're in the midst of this. I think we're uh, Steve. I don't recommend it. No, I don't either, but, but that's the interesting observation they make. As printing them out and reading them, the efficiency probably comes in where she's making the comments. Oh, because I can type faster than I can write. Right. right. Yeah. Instead of email, mailing, snail mail. With yeah. I think you're, you're asking a really important question about how do we use the discussion board to make this really an interactive class. And that is a question that we, we are not going to have time to talk about here, but I think that is a good topic for a future presentation, really, because I would like to know that too. One of the things, I, I talked about how I have all my stuff up at the beginning of the class. I don't have my discussion board topics posted when the class first starts. I change those every two weeks, and so I, I only have the first one up when the class first starts. And there's a lot of different beliefs about how involved the instructor should be in the discussion board. Some people think it's just a totally hands-off. Some people want to be there interacting. And I don't know the answer to your question. What's an efficient way to use that discussion board? I think board? if you're going to try to make it as you would your own, your regular class, and this is a discussion we have, when there's insightful remarks on there, when there's a kind of strength in a student's discussion points, you come back in as you would in the class, saying, I, you know, I hadn't even thought of that myself. That's a great, you've got to, if you're going to try to make it an online class as you would a regular class, and that takes time. It means you're reading them all, you're coming back, you're not being critical, but you are being supportive of it, if we want it to be that way. Otherwise, it's, it's almost a distant, hands-off situation, and, and the distance is greater if you're not using it that way. Well, it's another way to teach. There was a lot you can, you can teach in one discussion board message. You can guide a discussion in a certain way if you see it's going in a path that isn't really what you want to emphasize. So it, it is another form of teaching. I don't know if any of you have used Horizon Wimba. It's, it's something that I use in my summer class, and we do chat live chats. And uh, it's a great way to interact and you get to know those students in a whole different way and you have a different level of conversation <laughs> than you can at a discussion. 